Good day, students. Hope you are doing great. You're welcome to Financial Accounting Week 6. Today, we'll be looking at Control Account. Preparation of Control Account. We have the following specific objective. One, define creditor's ledger control account. Two, list five items in the layout of creditor's ledger control account. Then three, prepare creditor's ledger control account. In our previous class, we considered the definition of control account as a self-balancing ledger. We also consider the features of control account, the uses of control account, and we mentioned control account is used to determine credit sales, to determine credit purchases. We also mentioned the types of control account or the divisions of control account, debtors ledger control account, and creditors ledger control account. So today our major focus will be on creditors ledger control account. Now as we can see a man picking items in a supermarket. We can use this supermarket with the items to prepare our creditors ledger control account. Now we are going to consider the format of creditor's ledger control account. The creditor's ledger control account can be defined as a control account used to determine creditor's balance at the end of the period. Creditor's ledger control account can also be used to determine the value of credit purchases Note, we don't use creditors data control account to ascertain cash purchases. Rather, we use it to determine value of credit purchases or the value of creditors balance at the end of the period. Now we have the format of creditors data control account. We have items at the debit side as well as items at the credit side. At the credit side, the first thing we start with is opening creditors or balance brought forward of creditors. We have the purchases they book or credit purchases. We also have the discount received subsequently withdrawn. We have cash refund by suppliers, debit notes received, suppliers check dishonored. They are the debit side, we have check to creditors or suppliers, cash to creditors or suppliers, purchases returns or returns outward. We have discount received, bills payable, contra entry or control settlement, credit notes received, closing creditors or balance carry down. The balance carry down is different between the credit side submission and the debit side figures. Now we are going to use this illustration, Musa Shell Limited, to prepare our creditors ledger control account. You mean in our previous class we mentioned that creditors ledger control account is also known as purchases ledger control account or bought ledger control account. Now we have the following item for the month of January 1986. Debit balance in sales ledger, debit balance in the bought ledger. The items we have here, some are for purchases ledger control account why the other items are for sales ledger. So what you do is to pick the items that relates to creditors ledger control account. 
If we go back to the format, the items we have here, that's why you must know the format, memorize the format. So you only pick items that relates to creditors ledger control account. While the other items that are for sales, you ignore because you are going to transfer those items to sales ledger control account. But our major focus is on creditors ledger control account. We have the following information. Now, the solution. At the credit side, the first thing we have to start with is the balance brought forward of creditors. But from the question, we don't have balance brought forward at the credit side. The question reads, January 1st, 1986, debit balance in the bot ledger. The debit balance here means the balance brought forward will go to the debit side, 78 Naira. We also have purchases. The purchases we have here represent credit purchases, 6,780 Naira. 6,780, we have cash paid to creditors. 3,240, 3,240 Naira. Then we also have our returns outwards, 200 Naira. Discount received, 220 Naira. Those are the items we have. At the credit side, we have 6,780. Why at the debit side, we have 78 Naira for balance brought forward. Cash paid to creditors, 3,214 Naira. We have returns out for 200. Discount received, 220. So you add 78 plus 3,240 Naira plus 200 plus 220. Now, if you observe, the value at the credit side is higher than what we have at the credit side which means your balance CD will be at the debit side because our credit side value is higher than what we have at the debit side. So the difference is 3,042 Naira. Then you will not close. Then your balance CD will not translate to balance BD, which is balance brought down, 3,042 Naira. Now from this... From the items we have concerning Musa Shale Limited, you see that it's very easy to prepare our creditors' ledger control account. For this particular question, the essence of the items is to determine the value of closing creditors, which we have done, 3042. In some questions, you may they may ask you to determine the value of credit purchases. So, with this, the preparation of creditors' ledger control account is very easy. You must know your format. Now, the next thing we are going to look at will be our evaluation. Because for today, we are, we, we are using just one illustration. Our evaluation lists three items on the debit side of creditors' ledger control account. Two, list three items on the credit side of creditors' ledger control account. At the debit side of our creditors' ledger control account, we have the following. We have check pay to creditors or suppliers. We have cash pay to creditors or suppliers. We also have returns outward. We also have bills payable. Then we also have control settlements and other items. 
Then the next question, list three items on the credit side of Kratos Ledger Control Account. We have the following. Balance brought forward of creditors or opening creditors at the beginning. We have credit purchases. Then we also have discount received subsequently withdrawn. Then we also have refund to supplier. Then we have debit note received, another item. So from the format, you can pick the items. That's why it is important for you to know the format of creditors ledger control account or bot ledger or purchase ledger control account. Now with this, I'm sure if you have questions concerning Creators Ledger Control Account or Bot Ledger, it will be very easy for you to handle. Now, I have assignment for us on form. Prepare Creators Ledger Control Account from the following information. We have opening creditors 5,000 naira, discount received 200 naira, purchases debut 10,500 naira, purchases returns. 210 naira, check to creditors 6,100 naira, bills payable 4,500 naira, suppliers check dishonored 300 naira, control settlement 50 naira, credit note issue 160 naira. So you can play with this assignment, it's very easy, it's your own form. Then you can also submit your assignment via the, the number you have on the screen. Then you can also send it to aremovalogunatiao.com. Shall I come your way again? Thank you and stay safe. Stay blessed and remember, you are the best. Bye.